It's only after crossing several mountain ranges and a desert inside Yemen that one arrives at one of the world's most isolated cities. Hodeida, a crucial outlet to the Red Sea and the wider world, where war has raged for several months. Hodeida is a fortified city split in two by the front lines. Our Houthi militia escort guides us to the port. This is where the majority of Yemen's food and humanitarian aid would be coming in were it not for the war. The area is strategically crucial. In spite of an official ceasefire, fighting continues. The Houthis are nervous. What's going on here? Who gave them authorization to enter? If they stay, you're taking responsibility, OK? In fact, we're soon met by a leader of the rebellion. You see, this port is the most vital location in Yemen. It's also the most attacked and the most destroyed. And why? Because the coalition uses it as a weapon to push its strategy. We, the Houthis, are responsible for the transport of more than 70 percent of Yemen's food. There are 20 million Yemenis depending on supplies that should be arriving on these docks, but that aren't. Around the city, the words of Houthi propaganda aren't very far from the reality on the ground. Looming famine, non-stop bombardment, and an international diplomacy struggling to put the brakes on civil war. For decades, the fish market has been a daily meeting point for thousands of families. Like all of Yemen, it's now a shadow of its former self. Few fishermen dare heading out these days. It's terrifying. The planes are constantly buzzing us. These days, going out on the water means taking huge risks. When people go out, half the time they don't come back. They bomb everything as soon as they see a light. Even us, simple fishermen, we're targets. Millions in the country are already hanging by a thread, while Hodeida, lifeline of Yemen, is coming undone.